We're good, um, Sharon. How are you? I'm doing fine. Um, how would you guys uh, cope without without being without justice being um, in the lineup this season? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, unfortunate timing. Um, you know, two different occasions right before the hiatus started, and then obviously right before the restart. Um, you know, uh, the injury happened, so we haven't had him in our lineup. Obviously, a guy that we think so highly of uh, is going to make a tremendous impact for us. Uh, it's great to know that. We fully expect him to be healthy come the start of next season. And, you know, uh, the word that we keep using is we're going to be resilient, you know, uh, whether it was the, the case of Justice's injury um, now and even during the season that he was coming back from or if it was other guys on our team that had gotten hurt, it was next man up mentality. Um, I think our guys, we've been we've been resilient all season long, uh, even outside of injury. So that, that's how we're going to have to, I guess, as you said, kind of cope with it. Um, you know, so, but I know he's going to be fully involved with us. I mean, he's in all of our practices, team meetings, he's sticking with us, uh, which is so exciting. I mean, obviously the bonds that he has with his teammates have already, uh, just kind of just grown so much in a short amount of time. And, uh, this is valuable time as an entire team to be together. So, uh, even though he won't be on the court, uh, per se, uh, playing with us and competing with us, uh, he's going to be with us full throttle. Uh, his mind, his competitive nature, his personality is going to be out, and it's going to be very important for all of us to have around us as we make this run here in Orlando. Teresa Walker. Good morning, Taylor. Uh, with this unusual year, your rookies, Ja and Brandon particularly, uh, they kind of got a chance to, you know, take a break in the midst of their rookie year. You see what lessons that maybe they t they've managed to learn and how they're trying to, uh, you know, take advantage of this break to, to improve their games and, and finish up their rookie seasons in style? Yeah, Teresa, I think uh, so many of our guys have benefited um, from this time away. Uh, obviously, it definitely kind of, uh, throws a big speed bump, uh, kind of slows your pace down. Um, you know, you're not able to play five on five normally, uh, which is what we kind of build ourselves on every single day. But I think both those guys in particular, you know, obviously Jaws come out and talked about him being able to add more weight, and more muscle uh, onto his frame, which has been important for him from day one uh, when he got drafted. You know, he got on the same page with our performance staff and our coaching staff, knowing that that in the long term was going to be something very beneficial for him. Uh, I think he dove into a lot of film work uh, over the break, uh, worked on his three-point shot a lot. Uh, he's a great student of the game, so I think he really put a lot of time over the break uh, doing those things. And I think we're already seeing that right now, and obviously, hopefully, uh, that translates when we come to our first scrimmage tomorrow. And BC, the same thing, uh, just working on his body, um, you know, really understanding how, you know, just having his body healthy uh, for the, you know, 82 games is, you know, that transition from college to NBA, how important that is. Um, I mean, he's been a bright spot um, during this kind of training camp here in Orlando, you know, working on his three point shot as well. And he's another guy, too, that benefited from film work, you know, with myself and with some of our assistant coaches, just, you know, every few times uh, each week, just kind of talking about different things, different positions he's been in, how he's been successful to continue to replicate that, but also how his game can grow and just kind of, you know, a lot of times rookies, it takes some time to read the game. Um, I think we've been fortunate with Ja and BC being able to have guys that can read the game at a high level. But I think, you know, him in particular took uh, the onus on watching a lot of film uh, to make sure he comes back with a lot of success here in the restart. Mark Narducci. Mark. Uh, Coach, I just wanted to ask you how, how you feel about playing the 76ers, what you think about them, and, and opening up with a team like that. You know, Mark, it's a great challenge. Uh, we obviously know our eight-game seating schedule is going to be a challenge. Um, you know, all teams playing for uh, playoff positioning, getting into the playoffs. I mean, we're going to have high competitive games, you know, next Friday. And no better way than to come out and, and play uh, teams that are contending uh, in both conferences. Uh, Philly, obviously, a team that we struggle with during the season. Um, you know, we started off that game, you know, I remember pretty closely, and they got away from us up there in Philly. Uh, but unique matchup. You know, they've got great size. They've got great individual talent. They can beat you in so many different ways. Uh, I think that's going to kind of put our habits and also a lot of, you know, our, our game plan. Uh, methodologies on the defensive end, um, you know, in, in the play. And then offensively, we're going to kind of do what we do, but we know they have a great ability to protect the paint. Um, and that's obviously something that we thrive on over the course of the season. So it's great to get that test right off the bat. And I think even looking ahead to Houston and Miami, two other high level opponents that are going to really challenge us. You know, at the end of the day, it's always about us. It's about our habits. It's about our style of play. It's about our togetherness. And no better way than to go out there and play and get some really great opponents. And that's going to test us and get ready for, uh, you know, next Friday, July 31st. 
Coach, thanks for joining us today. Great. Thank you, everyone.